We all know that using your phone while you're operating a vehicle is dangerous, but we still do it. And I'm no exception to this rule, but I do try to mitigate the risk just a little bit. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. What we're creating today is a one wheel home screen. Now, the way I use this is as I'm riding, I can quickly see the color of the app that I want to launch and the tap targets are huge. And I can tap right into the app that I need, get the information I need, and then put my phone down and keep riding. All right, it's classroom time. Let's learn how this all works. One Will Home Screen is split into quadrants. So I have my listening quadrant with my music and my audiobooks, my launch quadrant with all of the apps I might want to launch in one tap. Then I have my recording quadrant and my writing quadrant. Up top, I have these larger widgets that I use to check the weather, play music, and check Telegram and get in contact with other local writers. You might be wondering how I get these big tappable icons. Use Apple shortcuts to do this. Pull down from the center of the screen and search for shortcuts. We'll make one action shortcuts that launch the apps you're most likely to use while you're writing. In the top right, I'll tap the plus and I'll search for the action called open app should have this icon with nine colorful squares. I'll tap it. I'll tap where it says choose and I'll choose the one wheel app. Hit next. We'll give this shortcut a name and a color. So I'll call this one wheel app and I'll set the color to navy and hit done and done. I'll hit the plus and I'll do the same for my next app. Open app. And since I'll be repeating this, I'll tap the eye icon and set this as a favorite to make it easier to find. And in this one, I'll open the Lumos Helmet app. Next, I'll name this one Lumos and I'll set this to a different color. The intent here is that I want to immediately know which app this is that I'm opening just by looking at the color. We are all set there. Now I need to add these as widgets to my home screen. So I'll enter jiggle mode and I'll use the plus in the top left to add a widget. I'll scroll until I see the shortcuts option and I'll add my first widget. So here's telegram, that one looks good. I'll go back and I can search shortcuts this time to get a shortcut to it. And this one I'll hold my finger on and then I'll layer it right on top of the other. All right, these are good. I'll choose done. I'll now hold my finger on the widget and I'll edit shortcuts and I'll choose a different app for each of these. So let's start with Google Maps. That looks good. So that one's gonna be green. Telegram is in here in gray. Let's edit this one. We'll change this to the one wheel app. And I need to change one more to Lumos. Good to go. Now I can swipe and quickly see the color of the apps and I have a quick launcher that'll take me into each app and it's a much bigger tap target. Music goes a long way to set the vibes for your ride. Some of my favorite music is on YouTube, others on Apple Music, some's on SoundCloud, and it's a little too much to manage to switch between all of these apps and navigate the interface to find the music I want to listen to. So I built Jukebox so I can get to the vibes, get to my ride, and do so safely. Let's create a new shortcut and name it Jukebox. We'll set the color to red. And for the glyph, let's make something that looks like headphones. We'll go with the AirPod symbol. The first action I'll add is choose from menu. For the prompt, I'll type, what would you like to listen to? 
I'll name the first option Selection. Selection is a great show on Apple Music. Love the vibes. For the next option, I'll type The Future Beat Show. This is one of my favorite listens on SoundCloud. I'll add a third option and type Chill Hop Music. Chill Hop always has good vibes and often has a live show on YouTube. Now that these are in place, I need to add the text action for each of them. So since I'll reuse this, I'll make it a favorite. I'll add it to the shortcut and I'll drag one into each menu item. There we go. Now what I need here is the URL for each of these shows. Selection is on Apple Music. I'll open the music app. I'll type selection. And this is the page that I want that shows all of the episodes. This will give me the flexibility to thumb through and find the episode I want to listen to and also see when there's a new episode available. I'll tap the three dots here. I'll copy the link and then I'll paste that right into the text field here. For the future beat show, I'll open SoundCloud. On the artist page, I'll tap the up arrow, copy link, I'll head back to shortcuts and I'll paste it in the text area. For chill hop music, I'll open YouTube and it's this icon for the creators page. And I'll tap the vertical three dots, share, copy link, then I'll head back to shortcuts and paste. Perfect. Finally, I'll use the action called open URL and that will open the website that is passed in from the previous action. So depending on which I choose from the menu, it'll open that creator. Let's play it again. Just like that, it takes me right where I need to be to select the latest episode. Now I want to add this to my home screen. So jukebox that I just made. I'll hold my finger on an app, edit the home screen, tap the plus. Again, I'm adding a shortcut and we'll grab jukebox and drag it into position. So here's fine for now. Let's add audible while we're here. We'll take this widget, drop it onto jukebox. And now we can swipe between our music options with jukebox and audible. Two quadrants are ready to go and we're already ready to ride safer. Now let's take care of the top. I'll enter jiggle mode here and let's add weather. And I want this rectangular one and we'll just layer that here. And then I'll go back and I can grab Apple Music if you're a subscriber to that. It's nice to have the recently played widget. I'll just put it right on top of the weather widget. And I'll also add one for Telegram. That way I can preview the conversations without needing to open the app. Let's do that here. And when you add things like Telegram, you need to hold your finger on it and edit it. And it will allow you to choose which chats you care most about. So let's add the DC Escape. And now I'll have the most recent conversations in each of those. Sometimes we just want to document the moment, but focusing on the viewfinder takes your focus away from the road. The focus of this section is on camera apps that allow you to choose your shooting mode from the home screen. I'll set up some widget tiles for recording. We'll enter jiggle mode. And I want the RTRO retro app. And I want the moment app. Moment is a paid camera app, but what I like about it is it allows you to preset all of your shooting settings so that you can just tap and get right in and be ready to capture how you want. Let's hit done. 
So now I have those two ready to use. This last tile I'm really excited to share with you, but stick around because I have a really exciting bonus tip for the end. All right, so this is one we need to build. We'll hop in shortcuts, create a new shortcut, and this one I'll call Go Ride. Let's make this one green and I'll find some symbol that looks like it relates to navigation or something along those lines. I like that, let's do that, boom. All right, so go ride, we'll hit done. We'll add an action, choose from menu. This works very similarly to the shortcut that we made for music. So here we'll say, where do you want to go? That'll be the prompt. And then you can start to preset some of the places that you normally frequent. So let's do one here for DuPont Circle. So tonight there's a ride that starts at DuPont. So I want to be able to quickly get directions there. Then let's do link. Let's add three specialty menu items. We'll do type a destination. In front of this, let's go ahead and put a keyboard icon. For the next one, we'll do speak a destination with a mic icon and we'll do clipboard. And so this one's more descriptive. I'll actually add whatever is currently on the clipboard to the menu item name. There we go. And let's build this out. This shortcut works very similarly to jukebox that we created earlier. Let's add some text. Actually, this is in favorites. We'll add text blocks into the first three. And then for type of destination, this will be a little different. We'll do ask for input. For speak a destination, we'll do dictate text. Let's enable this dictation. For clipboard, we'll use get clipboard. And for speak a destination, let's do an ask for input. And we'll add this just so it can confirm that we got the correct result. So I'll type, did I hear you correctly? And inside of show more for the default, we'll add the dictated text. So that we'll put that in there. And if we confirm that it's right, we just tap okay and proceed. If it's wrong, then we can correct it. Good. All right, let's fill in these text actions. For DuPont Circle, I'll enter DuPont Circle Fountain. For Lincoln Memorial, we can literally just type Lincoln Memorial. For the wharf, our crew often meets at Cantina Bambina. And these others, I think, are good. Let's um, enter a prompt here for type a destination. That looks good. All right. Finally, now that the menu's filled out, we just need to tell our shortcut what to do with the menu item that we select. And in this case, we'll get bike path directions. I'll add an action for maps, show directions, and we'll show biking directions from current location to menu result using Google Maps. Simple but powerful. Just like the other tiles, we'll go ahead and enter jiggle mode and we'll add a shortcuts widget. And we'll drag go ride onto the screen. I'm gonna reorganize these. I'll put my audio stuff here. I'll put this guy down here. So th this, this is my app launcher in the lower left. Go ride is on the right. I have my audio listening apps here and I have my camera apps here. And of course up top I have weather and then these bigger, longer widgets that take up a bit more space. But here it is, we have a one wheel focus home screen that is super useful. And now I have your bonus tip for you. We can add bat tap shortcuts to make it super easy to get into your most used shortcuts. In this case, I'll link to Jukebox and to Go Ride. Let's do that now. In the settings app, we'll scroll until we see accessibility. 
touch and back tap. Back tap gives you two options where tapping the back of your phone allows you to do something. In this case, we're going to have it open certain shortcuts. So for double tap, I'll have it open the shortcut called Jukebox. And for triple tap, I'll have it open the shortcut called Go Ride. We can test this by tap tapping twice on the back of the phone. Here you see it pulls up my music switcher. So boom, ready to go there. If I tap three times, one, two, three, I can get directions just that quick. I'm going to make a quick modification to the Go Ride app. So I'll tap in. And all the way at the bottom, what we want to do is open the app, Google Maps, proactively. Because if the app is not loaded into the memory on your device, then sometimes the directions don't get copied in. So I'll open Google Maps and then right after that we'll open shortcuts again. This will ensure that Google Maps is loaded into memory and that your directions are properly copied into that app. So good to go. Let's go ahead and try our back tap shortcut now. So if I tap three times, one, two, three, it'll ask me where I want to go. Tap Lincoln Memorial, and boom, just like that, directions are ready to go. We can hit start, and it's already in the bike directions mode. If I want to play my music, tap twice, one, two, pick my music. I'm on the page, I can choose an episode to play. If you like shortcut stuff, I have a playlist with all of my shortcuts here. Say something nice in the comments. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.